crucified with Christ I've been crucified with Christ I no longer live but Christ lives in me Greetings in the name of Jesus and welcome to the New Covenant Apostolic Church of Holly, Michigan. Today we're going to be doing a word study on the Greek word takios. My wife's going to come and present to us uh, the meaning of this word as used in the Bible. Praise the Lord everybody. It's a blessing to be here once again with you. And today the title of our study is Behold I Come Quickly. And we're going to focus on studying a Greek word. The Greek word is takos. And we're going to begin by talking a little bit about uh, the Koine Greek. Uh, the New Testament was originally written in Koine Greek. And the Koine Greek is a very specific language that can give us further insight into the meaning and the meanings of words and phrases that we find throughout the New Testament. A study of a particular word in the Koine Greek we can establish patterns for a more complete understanding of statements of truth that we read about in the New Testament. Today we are going to be examining the Greek word tackles and its many uses throughout the New Testament. The word tackles and all the different related forms of this same Greek word is used over 30 times in the Greek New Testament. For those of you that are Greek savvy, uh, this word appears in many different forms according to how it's used grammatically in a sentence and what word in a sentence it's modifying. This is how the Greek language works. So it might not always be in the form of Tacos, it could be in the form of tachios, taku, tachiste. So that's just to name a few. But in order to keep it simple for us lay people out there in the world, we're just going to refer to it as tacos every time. But understand that in the Greek language, the nouns, uh, the adverbs, the adjectives change to modify the word that they're supposed to be describing and modifying. And that's how the Greek language works. So it may be in a slightly different form, but we're always going to refer to it to make it simple as tackles. That is your root word that we're dealing with. And what tackles means is briefly in relation to time, speedily when it's talking about in action, rapidly, hastily, quickly, shortly, and soon. These are the different ways it's translated and it denotes these types of ideas of actions being performed. It clearly denotes something that is shortly going to take place with the emphasis on no delay. If any at all, just absolutely no delay, if there's any delay at all. Um, when the writers wanted to express eminency of any event or happening, a form of tackles was one of the Greek words that was often used. We derive our English word tachometer from this Greek word. A tachometer is an instrument that measures the rotation speed of a shaft or disc in an engine. So we see the idea of speed still being used as this word is assimilated into our uh, English language. So with that little background and that little foundation, uh, let us proceed forward. In order to get a consistent application of the meaning and use of this Greek word, tachos, we must look at several verses in which this word was used. Okay, we're going to begin today in Acts 12 and verse 7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. So we see here 
the angel appeared to Peter when he was in prison and spoke to him very directly and said, rise up quickly. And that's where tacos was translated into quickly. Uh, Peter obviously didn't waste any time when the angel told him to, to rise up quickly. He did just that, and he got out of there, right? He didn't wait around for a night, for an hour, for a month, two months. He got up right then and there, and he got out of that prison cell because the Lord had set him free. In Acts 22, 17 and 18, we read, And it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance, and saw him saying unto me, Make haste, and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. So Paul here is giving his testimony to an angry Jewish mob in Jerusalem. He related that while he was praying, he fell into a trance and saw Jesus telling him to make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem. The word quickly was where tackles was translated into quickly. So already we can see that tackles is used to communicate, to communicate urgency. Now let's look at 1 Peter 3 and 14. These things write I unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. Paul here is communicating with Timothy that he'll be coming to see him shortly. Tacos, shortly. It clearly was saying that it would just be in a little while and Paul was going to come and see Timothy. So we see tacos meaning here again a very short time period. In Matthew 5, verses 23 to 25, we read, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother had aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. All right, here we see Jesus is teaching a concept associated with giving. I read a few verses um, to get the context going, but the, verse, the part of the verse we want to zero in on is where Jesus says, Agree with thine adversary quickly. That's where tacos is applied. It's translated as quickly. And the idea here, Jesus was communicating that he wanted this done hastily, without delay. That's why he used the word tacos, all right? So we're seeing a consistency of how this word and what it, what it denotes to us and what the uh, denotation of it is. Let's read in Matthew 28 and 7. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. So here we see the angel at the empty sepulcher. And the women that came that day, Mary, Mary, they were at the empty sepulcher. And he said to them, go quickly, go quickly, tacos, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. You know those women, they went both speedily and quickly. They were excited when they saw the empty tomb and the angel told them that he is arisen. Go tell his disciples. They didn't waste any time. That's why the word tacos is used. There was no delay here. They went and they told. Let's read this about the same setting in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16 and verse 8. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. So here again we see they went out quickly. Again, tackles, and they fled from the sepulcher. They were excited. They couldn't wait to spread the news of the risen Savior. Now, let's look in Luke 15 and verse 22. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, 
and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Here we read about the parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15 and 22. Uh, the word tacos is used here, but this is a very unique situation because the word tacos is not translated into the English, but is rather understood. It should read, if it was translated, quickly bring forth the best robe. But because bring forth the best robe is in the imperative mood, which means it was a command given, the implication of the imperative mood is do it quickly and do it now. And that's why tacos was not actually translated in this instance. But the imperative mood brings it out that it must be done quickly. Let's read in John 11 and verse 29. As soon as she heard that, she rose quickly and came unto him. Here we find Mary's reaction to the, to the arrival of Jesus soon after her brother's death, Lazarus. And the scripture reads, as soon as she heard that, and that what she heard was that Jesus was in town, she arose quickly, tackles, and came unto him. Again, quickly, tackles. And then reading down in the same setting of John 11 and verse 31. The Jews then, which were with her in the house and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth forth into the grave to weep there. So here again we have tacos used for, She rose up hastily and went out, tackles hastily, to weep at the grave of Lazarus. Jesus told another parable of the Great Supper in Luke 14 and verse 21. So that servant came and shewed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. This is a parable of the Great Supper. And when, when, the, when the rich man found out that the ones he invited didn't want to come, he replied, go out quickly, tacos, quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bid those that want to come to come. Again, tacos, quickly. They didn't delay. He went out and did what his master told him to do. And another parable in Luke 16 and verse 6. And he said, a hundred measures of oil and he said unto him, Take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. All right, he sat down quickly. Another parable, tackles, and he wrote out fifty. Now let's read in 1 Corinthians 4 and 19. But I will come to you shortly, if the Lord will and will know, not the speech of them which are puffed up, but rather the power. So Paul here says... But I will come to you shortly. And that's where the Greek word takos is used. Speaking about a soon visit that he would be making with them in Corinth. In this same context, we can find a similar use of this word in Philippians 2, verse 19, and also in verse 24. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. But I trust in the Lord that I myself shall come shortly. So here Paul says, But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly. Tacos unto you. Shortly. And then in verse 24 he says, But I trust in the Lord that I myself shall come shortly. Tacos. He wasn't talking about a long period of time to wait till he came. He was talking about a very short period of time, and that's why the word Greek word tacos, a form of that Greek word tacos, was used. Also, in 2 Timothy 4 and 9, Paul says, Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. Did you hear that? Do thy diligence to come shortly. Tacos again for shortly. Unto me. Tacos. He wanted them to come shortly unto him. At the Last Supper, Jesus told Judas something in John 13 and verse 27. 
And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest do quickly. All right, Jesus said to Judas, we know the story about Judas the betrayer, and Jesus turned to him, and he said, That that thou doest, do thou quickly tackles. And Judas got out of their presence, and he went and left. And in James 1 and 19, we find a slightly different translation of the word tackles, it says. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Here the word tackles is translated swift. We still get the element of quickness, speed, swift. Be quick to hear, swift to hear. And in Galatians 1 and 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Here Paul is saying, I marvel that you are so soon. The word soon comes as translated from tackles, removed from him that called you. Again, the idea of a short period of time, speed, soon, swift, hastily, all this pattern. We can see a, a, a well-established pattern here and get a feel for this word, tackles. Let's go on in Romans 16 and verse 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. So we can see that here in this verse that Satan's actually defeat is coming very shortly. Tacos. Very shortly. Not 2,000 years and counting and Satan's alive and well. His defeat was coming very shortly. That's why tackles was used there. Now in all these examples that we have cited so far, no one would have any difficulty at all understanding the use of, of the Greek word tackles. We can see time and time again that this Greek word simply denotes something that is happening very shortly, very quickly, swiftly, and without delay. There is no debate about what tacos means in all of these scripture references that we've already cited. Now that we have clearly established the meaning in several scriptural examples, let us continue to examine this same word in many other scriptural references. Let's go to the book of Revelation, verse one and verse or chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Did you hear what Revelation 1 and 1 said? This is huge. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Tacos shortly come to pass. John, in the very first verse of the book of Revelation, makes a very, very strong time statement. He said that everything recorded in the book of Revelation was going to shortly come to pass. We just read that. Shortly come to pass. This is the same John who was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and was told by Jesus himself to write down everything he saw. Let's read it in Revelation 1, verse 10, and verses 17 through 19. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. This was Jesus giving John some very specific instructions. He told him to write down everything he saw. Everything he saw, things that were present then and things that were going to come thereafter. But it was all going to be shortly thereafter. 
If anyone knew about the timing of these events in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, it would be the one who saw it and experienced it. And that is the Apostle John. Let's continue to travel through the book of Revelation and notice all the uses of the word tacos. In Revelation 2 and verse 5, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So Jesus says here, or else I will come unto thee quickly. Tacos. Now who is Jesus talking to? He's talking to one of the churches that was in existence in that day in the first century. He wasn't talking to a church in 20, the year 2023. He wasn't talking to any of us. He was talking to churches that existed back then. And he told them he was going to come unto them quickly. Tackles. Let's read again a, a similar context in Revelation 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Again, he said, Behold, I come quickly. Tackles, speedily. That's why the Greek word tackles is used here and translated as quickly. That's what he meant. He was talking to a church that was in existence in the first century. Now let's read in Revelation 22 and 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. So here we see the Lord God sent his angel to show unto his servants. Now we travel to the book of Revelation. We're in the last chapter of the book of Revelation. And we're going to see a clear pattern of the use of the word tackles and the use of being translated as something shortly, getting ready to happen. And here we have in verse 6, the Lord God sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. After reading about all the visions and all the vials and all the woes and all, all the white throne judgment, everything you read about in the book of Revelation, now we're in the last chapter and we still see the word tackles shortly. Things, all these things are to be done. No gap, no 2,000 year wait, but shortly. Revelation 22 and 7, we also read, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. This is Jesus saying, Behold, I come quickly. The Greek word takos is translated quickly. No delay, no gap. He's coming quickly. Revelation 22 and 12 says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Again, behold, I come quickly. If he didn't get it the first time in the first chapter, if he didn't get it in the second and third chapter when he's talking to the churches that existed back then, now he's telling it again over and over and over again in the last chapter of the book of Revelation. Behold, I come quickly. Did you hear it? Tackles, quickly. Let's read it one more time at the very end of the second from the last verse of the book of Revelation. Revelation 22 and verse 20. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. So now we see again, I come quickly. This time he says, Surely I come quickly. Again, tacos used to denote quickly, translated as quickly. So we can clearly see the book of Revelation begins with a very clear time statement of eminency. And it also closes with the same predominant time statement. When we get to the book of Revelation, the Greek word tacos does not all of a sudden take on a totally different meaning. Tacos still means briefly in time speedily in manner, rapidly, hastily, 
quickly, shortly, and soon. This is the exact same way that this Greek word is used throughout all the scriptures. It never changes. We can see this over and over again clearly through all the examples cited in this study. So in conclusion, when it comes time to see the meaning of this same word tacos being used by Jesus to proclaim his coming quickly, tackles. Many try to twist this meaning here to agree with their own theology. If our theology doesn't agree with the scriptures and what Jesus himself said, it is high time to adjust our theology so we can be in total agreement with the scriptures. To believe something other than what the word of God is clearly telling us is to believe another gospel. It is my responsibility. It's each one of our own responsibilities to study, to show myself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you with this word. Amen. This concludes the lesson today. Behold, I come quickly. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like. If you enjoy the content on our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe by hitting the bell icon for notifications when we upload new videos. If you have a question, a comment, you can email us at the New Covenant Apostolic Church at gmail.com or you can call us at 248 459 2130. Thank you. I've been crucified with Christ. I've been crucified with Christ. I know.